Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, finally I got some things to put in my Etsy shop today, and these are really large, like as in big, um, uh, flow journals. So head on over to the Etsy shop if you're interested. These are gonna be the, Bat the Batik Sisters, because this is a Batik fabric that I picked up. And so each one is going to come with a little extra, um, um, this is Betty Batik, well I'll show her first. Um, but uh, I made these, uh, these little uh, flow, well they're not flows, they're actually little journals, you know, whatever you can, you can, you know, use them for whatever you want. And so the, each one's going to come with a little flow journal. Um, I might have to take one of these tags out and stick it in another. I think this one has all the tags. I didn't realize, so I hope this one has a tag. If not, I'll make it a tag. I'll make it, I have a tag somewhere available. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I won't. Well, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll worry about the tags later, okay? Let's go ahead and look at Betty Batik first, but these are big. Betty's the smaller one. The larger ones are, let's see, this one is 11 by 7.5 by 3 inches, okay? So those are the larger ones, and we'll look at the larger ones in a minute. And then we'll... Um, and these might get mixed up, so I don't know which one you're gonna get when you get the girls. So just don't worry about that. They're just then these are just a little freebie that I'm throwing in anyway. So there you go. And Betty, who's the smallest of the sisters, is a um, six and a I don't know, a couple of eights, and then six by what is that? Ten by uh, two and a half. So these, these must be two and a half too. Hold on, you guys. Oh yeah, they're all two and a half wide width because this is, yeah, so they're all two and a half, not three. So anyway, so there's Betty. And again, she is 10 by six and a couple ticks. All right, so let's look at her. She's got batik fabric, a really cool little um, um, bow uh, with some of this really cool thread that I just fell in love with. It's got a little sparkle to it. It's really cute. And then she's fabric with this little print on it. And then there's the matching tags in here. Now again, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll these before they go. But, you know, Gracie got up here and I'm now, and they were perfect. And now they have a little bit of fuzz on them that I will get that off for you before you go. Lots of little clips on the top. Um, they have a little fastener. This can grow however big you want it to. You'll just have to, you know, change out the fastener, make it a little bit bigger. So let's get started and look at the Betty. This is the Betty and Betty Batik, and they're big. So I've got everybody has, look at these lovely. You can use this over and over and over again for anything you want. This will stand up to the test of time, you guys. I make these covers to, they're a uh, double thick uh, cardboard, and it, but not too thick, but you can reuse these over and over and over for your own stuff, you know, whatever you wanna do. Take out this, reuse these, make them, decorate them. Whatever you want, these are yours to do with whatever you want. So there's actually four large, generous signatures in each one, and every one is going to have my painting paper in them. I made the, remember those painting papers? Well, you're gonna recognize them because they are in these journals. I think each signature has a piece of my painting paper, and they'll be kind of big. And also some of, everybody has some of my um, painting flowers that I did with one of my, um, with one of my, um, videos and everybody's going to get an old-fashioned black and white picture because they're just so cool so maybe we can call this betty this is betty and maybe this is where betty lives i don't know that's just a, a book page and we've got multiple various um napkins in here extra book pages of course you know i always use book pages everybody's gonna have a little mini composition notebook just to do it as you please and then one of these gil hooli is that what it's called gil hooli chill hooli garden postcards. Isn't that cool? It's a nice thick piece of stuff. Some music sheets, some math paper. These are really, these are really interesting. I got these at Daiso. They're like a Japanese um, napkin that you put like under like fish or shrimp or something or fries, but I just thought they were cool. So I picked those up and put to put in here. And here's some of my, my painty papes that you'll recognize. And everybody's gonna have some beautiful scrap paper. I went through my scrap paper and found some really pretty scrap to put in here. Some Celtic crosses, some Asian issue paper. Um, so, so I think there's one piece of um, painty paper per signature. And these are big pieces, you guys. So, I mean, you know, cause they're, you pull this out and it's double this. 
so you can do with what you like. There's some gnomes in this particular book, gnome paper. And then I put some of Rona's tags in here because, I mean, that girl can sew and she is like a lady after my own heart. She's my, I love looking at Rona's thing. She's like got the best. And she sent me some templates, you guys. So I didn't even use them the other day, but look, I have templates. Well, that's my little template. But this is a t some templates she sent me. So I can't wait to use those in our next video, our next tag video. A really shiny little unicorn here in Betty. Some wonderful wallpaper. Some uh, green balance sheet with some tags. Uh, check, uh, what do you call the invoices? What do you call those guys? Order, order pads. Here's some of the gnomes. And some really beautiful shabby chic uh, pages. And then the little treat from the Daiso. And there's some little um, cutouts in here too. Some little die cuts that are kind of like a vellum. They're really pretty. A couple of carousel rides. I got those a long time ago and I kind of hoarded them for a while, but I decided I wanted to share them with you guys. I haven't seen these carousel rides. They're usually just tickets. But these are carousel rides, so how sweet is that? Here's some more of my painting paper that I promised and some more Asian sheets. And here's one of those, oh, this one really cracked me up when I looked at it. This is one of those awkward family postcards and at the bottom it says, dad really took his role as head of the family very seriously. <laughs> I just, some of those are hilarious. Some of them I don't get, I have to admit. And then this is from Lisa Cottrell. Um, she signed these, so happy, there's Lisa Cottrell. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff and said, go ahead and use it in your journals, Dawn. So I am, So because you know, you guys can make these. These are wonderful. Lisa did a really wonderful job, so I just wanted to add those. And she gave me so many, there's no way. There's nothing else I can do with them but share. So Lisa, thank you so much for that. That was really, really generous of you. And some more um, napkins. And there's a funny little control from the gnome book. Oh, and so what I did was I created these sewn journaling cards. Now, I didn't want to make tags out of them because they're just kind of cool the way they are. So see, each, each book is going to have a matching one. And they're sewn. And so what you can do is you can like line them and make journaling cards out of them. You can make tags out of them. I left it up to you to do whatever you want with them. So there's those, and each book has uh, a matching one. And there's some more of the little gnome paper, more math sheets. And then this one is that um, notepad that I made out of the postcard. So you're, this Betty's gonna get the kitty one. So I stuck that in there with some punchinella for stamping, that's fun. Or, um, what do you call it? Stencil. And then here's some more of that, some more um, painty tapes that I made. And some little doilies. And this one has a little Asian notebook in it with some ballots and some boat sheets. I thought those were cool for collaging. So there's just a lot of good collage stuff in here. And you'll see that I kind of rep, uh, replicated each type. So you're gonna have a lot of the same kind of pages, but I like that. I like to have a collection of things so that you can say, I like this, I need more of it. You know, so you have more of it. And then in here, there's just some little like, um, oh, here, I'll show you. Oh, this one's got some painting paper in it. I don't think the other ones do, but they have a lots of little different kind of papers and um, actually some Rolodex sheets, real mini Rolodex sheets in there. So that's in there for you. And, oh, this one has a chocolate roll preserves um, recipe. And what I like about these recipes is, oh, and there's an extra mash sheet, that is there on one page. So if you actually like this recipe, there you go. It's, it's completely there. All right, and then we have a little post-it note and some um, different um, journaling cards for you to use. And now this one is in French, and it was something, the happy game, but it's all in French. I just thought that was way cool. So there's that. I have to re, I've had these, I made these like, uh, week ago or so I haven't revisited them for a while so and here's some seize the day and this one says it's always seems impossible until it's done and this one says become a possible possibilitarian no matter how dark things are seem to be or actually are raise your sights see the possibilities and always see them for they're always there Norm, Norman Vincent Peale so yeah and then I put some Asian vellum in here for you really pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? I love Asian art. And then some of these little postcards from the Sabina book, which is awesome. If you ever see those books, grab them. 
And then these are some little labels. Then you put the labels in here and stick them on there. You can put them on the side of your book. And then here's some more of those little gnomes. Now look at these guys, they're naked. Naked city gnomes. So aren't they cute? This, this page right here is so cute. I wish I could find, well I'll show you that there's like four or five, maybe six little gnomes on it. They'd be adorable to cut out and use. And then some washi tape that somebody sent me because I get lots of washi tape. And then another napkin. And then some index cards. And then some more math. Oh, and there's some more of those carousel cards. And then here's some those die cards that I made the other day. Well, this one I went ahead and sewn around and I sewed a little tiny piece of um, little uh, small small uh, print flowers. I just love those. So I stuck those in there for you. And I edged around the side with some dye. And then some more painty papes and some money and some a journaling card and some time sheets. So yeah, there you go. There's that packed a little piece of lace. And some Dollar Tree uh, flowers for you to use. Oh, see, aren't these cute? So pretty. Lots of paper clips. Here's some, um, this is really cool paper. So I put a page of this on your I love the little images. They're almost um, Trader Joe-y, you know what I mean? So yeah. So here's that. Another jumbo card to work with. Lots of painting, lots of, and then a little, um, and actually a great big puzzle. And there you go, that, so that is going to be, that is Betty. Right, did I say that's Betty? And then she's going to come with one of these little books. I'm not sure which one. Um, yeah, but one of these little books. So there we go, and that's cute. I made this book out of, I think this kind of paper, and then I just you know, glued it in with some, I actually saw this on Liz, uh, Liz's, uh, Liz, what's her last name? Oh God, Liz's, oh my gosh. Well, you know who she is, Liz. Who doesn't know who Liz is? So there's Betty. So now let's take a look at Beth. She's a big one. She is the biggie. Beth and Betsy are big girls. So these are 11 by seven and a half by two and a half. Okay, and everybody's got a little thing. And I love this. This is fun on Beth because doesn't she, you can call her Beth, see? And then she's got a couple of little cards. They're a little smaller than the other one, but that's okay. They're still the same. They're still cards, so there you go. They match the cover, the boutique cover. Isn't that pretty? I love that blue and I put purple on the inside of this one. What was the inside of the other one? Uh, I don't remember. Anyhow, but you saw it, so you can take a look back at the video and see if you like it. And then we got one of those Gil Hooley postcards. Put that in there for you. And here's some of this that everybody loved. Everybody adored this paper, so you're gonna get a couple of sheets of that, I think. And then we've got one of those your sparkle has not gone unnoticed card and some of the Asian paper and another one of these little grab bags it says the cherry blossoms are in full bloom and there's some vellum flowers in there and then another a little Santa Barbara notebook with the, with the these have the um, post the little postcards with the old stamps on there that I created for you and then some beautiful beautiful tulips and then there's a piece of that paper, that Asian paper, and then again some of these labels, a lot of the same things that you've seen before, some of the ballot sheets, a puzzle piece, well, uh, of course all the napkins are, look at that, isn't that gorgeous, that one, this was a hit, everybody loved that, that one, and then a little bunny napkin, and then a beautiful flower, and then here's some of this, uh, my scribble, scribble flowers, that was this, I didn't even keep any for myself, I'm just letting you guys some money, some beautiful sheets of paper, some journaling cards, lots of scrap paper, lots and lots of scrap paper. And some more of these. This one says, the smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention, Oscar Wilde. We don't receive wisdom, we must discover it for ourselves after a journey that no one can take us on, take us, Take for us or spare us. Marcel Proust. Marcel Proust. Some journaling cards. These are really pretty. Some really pretty um, 
book pages and some beautiful little flowers from the Dollar Tree. Those are fun. They might not have those next year. And then some extra penny sheets, a little napkin, and then that, one of these happy uh, French cards, little French journal cards. I got a little tear there, but that's okay. Some scrap paper with that, one of these little folders that I did. So there's that. Some of my painty flowers. This is like a real painty. He's got a lot of panty papes in it. Some napkins. And no more Mr. Nice Guy. Little Asian guy. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'd hate to take a gander at that. And then so this one's got one for oatmeal drops. And cocoa oatmeal drop cookies. Wow, well, I'll take that. So make those and let me know how they come out. Some little journaling cards. Some more panty paper. Beautiful washi tape and some gorgeous shabby chic. And one of these um, optical illusion hidden panda, which you'll never know the answer to because I'm mean like that. <laughs> so, and then some uh, index cards, and beautiful painty tapes. And then here's one of these awkward ones that I don't get. It goes, "Here's staring at you, mom," and then the kid's eyes are closed. I don't know why that's. I don't understand that. I don't. But okay. And then one of these little things full of some little small um, cards. And then, of course, some of my journaling paper that I made, journaling index cards that I made for you. There's some beautiful handmade paper right there. And some bias tape. And one of these beautiful Trader Joe like images. And a journaling card. And some of these postcards that I find that I love. And then some of Rona's beautiful tags because they're so gorgeous. And some of Lisa's beautiful art that she likes. I got a little bookmark and a little notepad and a little uh, round, round, round art that she does. It's so gorgeous. Thank you again, Lisa. A little composition notebook. So lots of goodies, you guys. Lots and lots of goodies. Some more Asian paper, some more math paper, Punchinella, and some like green uh, cardstock. I love that color green. That's fun to use. All right, so that's 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 Beth. That's Beth Batik. She's and then she'll have one of these. And then we have Beth. Did we already did Betty? Now we're gonna do Betsy. This is Betsy. Bet Betsy's the same size as Beth. And she is seven and a half by 11. So these, these are big girls. These are big, big journals. And what I love about it is these journals can be used over and over and over again, okay? So that is the beauty of them. Let me tie a knot in here. Oh, I already did. Okay, good. And so here we go. Let's look at um, Betsy. And she's got flowers and some of that Dan. This one has the Dan uh, uh, journaling pages and some of my and more of my scribbling paper, some extra uh, painty paper, mass sheets, mm. postcard from Gil Hooley, some napkins, some beautiful pages. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Some fun scrap paper, jumbo cards. Mm -hmm. And then this is another Santa Barbara postcard that I made. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna have to stop for a second. Hold on. In fact, my girlfriend called me, so I don't know how much you missed, but I don't think too much. Anyway, so here's this one. It says, absorbent, absorbent but deadly. And this little kid is just wrapped in uh, pampers. <laughs> anyway, 
and then one of these little beautiful little, um, and then a, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, that. And then another little uh, sunset illusion paper that you'll never get the meaning of, and then some of that Dan's journaling, and some more journaling cards. And one of these little envelopes stuffed with a little bit of fun for you. And then some of that, um, what is this? Oh, and then some more of Lisa's cards. Aren't these pretty? A little, I love Lisa's work, it's so nice. Stuck that in there. Some beautiful art pages, some journaling cards. And the inspiration cards in this one say, no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. And this one says, let your life lightly dance on the edges of time like dew on the tip of a leaf. Very nice. So those are pretty. And then some funny money. And then some um, time cards. And then some of those little pieces of uh, index cards that I sewed and put a little piece of fabric on. Oh, and this one is women always land on their feet. So there you go. There is the second largest one. So if you're interested, head over to Etsy. I don't, you know, I don't make many of these you guys anymore. Um, it takes a long time and well, I've been meaning to put these, I get these done for a while. So it just takes, it takes a while. Anyway, so they're there if you're interested. Okay. I'll talk to you later guys. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye guys.